So you want to learn how to live stream using StreamYard. If that's the case, then you are in the right place. I've produced hundreds of live streams over the past several years. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set everything up. So the first thing you want to do is open up the StreamYard dashboard. And as you can see here, we've got the list of our past streams and recordings. But then right here, we've got a spot for what they call reusable studios. So the first thing you're going to do is create a new reusable studio. And in this case, we're doing that for Sean and Lacey live. Once we give the studio a name, you can go ahead and make your display name. We can change all of this later. We'll also be able to change all the settings on our camera. So we'll just go ahead and hit enter studio. So this is a studio inside of StreamYard. Down here, you'll have all of your video feeds, as well as if you present a slideshow, any guests that you have will be down here in this area. And it's really simple to add yourself to the stage. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and change the camera settings. And so in this instance, I actually have two cameras set up. I have the one that I'm recording this video with, and I also have another webcam on top of my monitor. So I'm going to use the one that I'm using on top of my monitor for my screen. And so it's really easy to add yourself there. All you have to do is hit the add to stage and boom, you're right there on the live stream. Now, if you want to change your microphone, really simple. Go to the settings, go to audio, and then select your microphone. Here are my audio settings after selecting my microphone and speaker. The first part that we'll go over is under brand. So over here on the right are a few different icons. Let's click on the brand and here we can select the brand color. So the default is this yellow, but let's say we want to switch it to a red. And now you can see that on this little name banner, this lower third, it changed it to red. And if you have a custom hex code, color code, you can apply that here and get the exact color that you want. Otherwise, you can kind of search around and pick uh, something that works for you. Next is the theme. And so I have it set to minimal, but you can also change it to any of these other pre built themes for the name display and some of the other animations that StreamYard has. You can toggle on and off the display name and also the headlines. Totally optional. You can keep that on there or you can turn it off if you like. There's also a setting for default camera. I usually have it stick to the full screen, but if you want it to go square or circle, you could as well. Going further below, now we have a section for the logo, which will pop up in the upper right hand corner of the stream. So by default, StreamYard has this preloaded logo in here. But if you have one of the paid plans, you can upload a custom logo. And you can see I have this little hand icon, this hand emoji in there. Sometimes you use this for questions. Uh, Q&A during some of the live streams. And so this kind of resembles uh, Zoom or someone raising their hand. It's just a way so that the host can know when someone has asked a question. I'll, I'll put that up there so that they know. Next is the overlays. The overlays are essentially the little graphics that overlay on your live streams. There are a couple that are pre-built in here. And then obviously we have some that we've added ourselves. So the simplest way to add a overlay file is to use a PNG or a GIF file that will end up going over the top of your video feed. And if you have certain graphics like this, you want to make sure that it's transparent. That way it will only show the elements of the overlay and not any say blank white or black background. So for Sean and Lacey live, what we typically do with our overlays is have a few announcements. And so there's an, uh, an event coming up that we have this little graphic for. And so that's been added. Also, we do a VIP podcast experience at SoFi Stadium. 
this is an announcement for that. So both of those overlays are preloaded in here. You can add little QR codes if you want. So you can add that QR code in there for people to scan, to go to a different link, a landing page, to download a free book or a link tree. So all you have to do to add an overlay is click the little plus button and select your file. Then it will load it up here and it adds it directly into the studio. And so this is a thumbnail for this week's podcast episode of the None of Your Business podcast. Really simple and easy to add that. And to add it to the stream, all you have to do is click it. And to remove it, you just hit hide. Really simple and easy to use, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is almost foolproof. Now, when it comes to video clips, very similar. Inside of StreamYard, it comes pre-built with a couple of videos. I believe it's 30 second countdown. So all you have to do is hit the plus button and open up a video file. It will load it up, it will process it. And then just like the overlays, all you have to do is simply click on the video and it will play full screen on your stream and it will also mute your audio at the same time. You also have the option to loop the video. So if you have, say, a slideshow or something that just needs to loop in the background, you can do that as well just by selecting that toggle to loop and it will stay playing until you decide to hide the video. Next is the backgrounds and it's really simple to add a background as well. StreamYard comes with some pre-built image and video backgrounds. So all you have to do is hit that plus button and you can see some of the backgrounds that they have here as well as some of the video backgrounds with just a little bit of animation, something really subtle, but you can always add in your custom background, which is what we've done. So I'll show you one here, one for Book Yourself Solid, and it has the Sean and Lacey logo on here. And so what that does is it kind of just frames in the stream when we have especially more than one person on the stream. So let's say we have ourselves on the live stream and we wanted to add in a guest, even though this is <laughs> both me, but now we have two people on the stream and now this background frames it in really nice. And you've probably have seen it already, but there's a section right here. These are different layouts that you can select for your live stream. And it's really nice that StreamYard has most of these pre-built and you can also customize a new layout. So if I wanted to crop in like this, I could do that. If I wanted to have it wide, or if I wanted to have one small and one large. And these others are if I were presenting, I'll show you those here in a second. And I can also go to one solo person. So pretty simple and easy to click around and find out how to adjust your stream just using these pre-built layout options. Now let's say I wanted to present something. So all you have to do is go to present, hit slides, and then add a file from your computer or from Google Slides. Once you've done that, it'll show up down here next to your video feed. And after a couple seconds, it will process the file and then you'll be ready to share it. So now that it's ready, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the stage. And this is just a PDF file of uh, the invitation to join us at SoFi Stadium for our podcast. And as I am on the live stream, I can just hit the toggle, hit the arrow to move to the next slide. And as you probably saw, I can go back to a solo shot. I can go to where I'm pretty big in the frame and the presentation is small. I can go to where I'm small and the presentation is large. I can go to just the presentation slideshow all within a click of a button. So some really cool options when it comes to presenting live and to remove the slideshow, all you have to do is come down here, hover over it and hit remove. And now we're back to our solo shot. So now what about adding background music? So we've got some pre-built sounds inside of StreamYard. And if you want to play any one of these sounds, we just hover over it and hit the play button. And it will start to play. And to pause it, we just hit, we just hit it again. We can also 
adjust the volume and whether it loops or it fades in and out. You can also add your own music just by uploading a music file. Another cool feature inside of StreamYard is the banners function. Have you ever watched something like ESPN or the news and they've got the ticker down at the bottom? Well, you can do something like that here inside of StreamYard. All you have to do is go over to the right side and hit banners, click on the My Banners folder and hit create a banner. It gives you up to 200 characters to type something in. All right, and then just hit add banner. Now to show the banner, just hover over it and there it is. So if I wanted to add some type of text or announcement or something on screen, I would just have a banner set up here and I could have this pre-done, preset, and then to take it away, I would just hit hide. Now let's say I wanted to have it rolling on the bottom of the screen. Well, I can do that just by hitting edit and selecting scroll across the bottom like a ticker. I'll hit save and then we'll show it. And now it's going to scroll down below on the bottom of the screen, which is pretty cool. If you're getting value out of this video, I appreciate it. If you would hit the thumbs up button that tells YouTube that this is a helpful video and it's going to show it to more people who want to learn more about StreamYard. Now let's jump back in. As promised, I was going to show you how simple and easy it is to add guests to your live stream. All you have to do is go down to this bottom button and hit invite. And because this is a reusable studio, this link is not going to change. So you can add it into your process for sending out the link and invitations. And so you won't have to create a new link every single time that you do a live stream. So this is me entering in as a guest. If I want to change my name, my camera, all of that stuff, I could do that as well. And so I'll just hit enter studio. And now I am in both studios but normally this would just be the guest or whoever you have joining you this last part that i want to show you is actually how to go live so at the top right corner here you can create a live stream or just a recording this is a cool option because it allows you to use all the features of Streamyard and just record something that you can post later on or obviously you can go live so if you want to go live, we'll just hit the live stream button. You'll choose your option for the resolution. I typically do full HD. And depending on where you want to live stream, you'll need to select your destination. One of the great things about StreamYard is that you can stream to multiple destinations at once. So you can go on live on Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, all of that at the same time, which is pretty cool. For this, I'm just going to go live on YouTube. So we'll type in the title and a description. You'll select your privacy, which will most likely be public. And then you can also schedule this for later. You'll hit save changes and you'll be good to go. And once you've added your destinations, then all you'll have to do is hit the go live button and you will be live. During your live stream, you can hit the comments tab and that will show the comments coming in. You'll also be able to add comments yourself and interact with your audience there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit a thumbs up on it. I appreciate that very much. If you wanna learn more about content creation and the skills and tactics and strategies to become a better content creator, subscribe to the channel and watch this video right now.